Hey guys, Kyler Davenport here, and uh, just wanted to reach out today and say hello to everybody, and thank you again for taking us through those hard times. Uh, this message is for MIGTO, uh, men going their own way, boys going their own way, I should say. Um, I joined MIGTO a while back. I've been a moderator over there, an editor over there, whatever, admin, I don't know, whatever I am. Uh, whatever they call it, and um, I've had a lot of arguments with the MIGTO guys, uh, men going their own way. They all seem to hate women. They all seem to despise women. Uh, they all seem to have it out for women. Uh, they get together and whine and cry and, and uh, you know, talk about how terrible women are, how bitchy women are, how bad women are. Uh, women will rip you off, uh, women will take advantage of you, women will just drive you down in the dirt, uh, take everything you have and leave you penniless, and uh, it's a pity party is what it is, it's a big pity party. Uh, you know, I told these guys a while back that I grew up with women taking care of me, not me taking care of them, but them wanting to take care of me. I tried to run them off every way possible. And I always had two or three grand in my pocket, always had a brand new car to drive from one of the girls that I was dating. And all of my girls liked to get together and we'd have parties on Friday and Saturday nights. No big deal. Um, I grew up uh, being uh, very confident with women. I played guitar. I'm a singer. I'm an artist. I'm a writer. Uh, I was always into television production. I was always doing something interesting. Women go for that. Women want that. They want an interesting man. They want a man that knows where he's going. They want a man that's standing on solid ground. They don't want some two-bit little punk that still needs a mommy in a bottle. And uh, a lot of those guys at MIGTO, a lot of you guys at MIGTO need a mommy in a bottle. Uh, you need to get a life. You need to stop concentrating on how bad women are. Sitting around the house all day concentrating on how terrible women are and get out and find a job get out and find something to do in the community, to help the community, to help the county, the city, the state, sit on some boards around town, make something happen, you know. Um, you just need to basically get off your lazy ass and get out and do something. And if you're already out there doing something, then so be it. Good for you. But you need to stop bashing women, really. It's time to stop bashing women. MGTOW is becoming very popular, and I'm afraid that it's going to become a terrorist group of some kind against women. It's definitely you're profiling women. Um, it's not a good thing. I don't approve of it. I'm going to stay in the group just to watch you guys, unless you ban me, which I don't think you should. I don't think you will. I think there needs to be diverse opinions in MGTOW. I think you need to come up against some guys like me, 60 years old, been around the block a few times. And, uh, yeah, I've had my share of bad relationships, but it was always my fault. Read my lips. It was always my fault. Um, I had a temper. Um, I knew where I was going. I was haughty. I was prideful. Um, somewhat of a know-it-all, as I am now. And uh, it was always my fault. I could have settled down and lived a good life, but I didn't want the good life. I wanted to be out working, paramedic, 24 hours a day running dead body calls, going to the funeral home, going to the morgue. Um, I had my own life, and it was separate from women. So, you know, and then I went through the period of time where women were taking care of me. And I did have two or three grand in my pocket all the time and driving a brand new car and had their credit cards. I didn't need to worry about anything. And I had all my women together, and we all partied together, and we all knew that I went with each one of these women. And it wasn't about sex. I'll tell you that right now. It was not about sex. It was just about pure companionship and friendship. So you guys need to get a life at MGTOW. Many of you. Many of you need to get a, a life. You need to wake up. You need to get off the baba, the bottle. You need to find a mommy. If you're looking for a mommy, they're out there. But um, anyway, uh, ban me from the group. I don't give a shit. Whatever you decide to do. But I think I'm good for you. I think many of you are going to just sizzle when you hear this post. You're going to sizzle. You're going to get so hot and so mad, you're going to, the top of your head's going to blow off. But I don't give a shit. 
you need this kind of talk. You need a daddy and a mommy, and um, you need to get a life. There are beautiful women out there. There are wonderful, wonderful, wonderful women out there uh, just waiting for a good man, a strong man, which many of you, most of you are not strong men. You're millennials. Uh, you're still sucking on the bottle. So anyway, that's my take on it, and uh, you can rebuttal uh, if you want. Uh, it's a free country. Last time I looked, it's still pretty free. So uh, you boys take care. You boys, emphasis on boys. You boys take care.